Okay, hey guys, what's going on? It's Giuseppe, thank you for coming back and hanging out with me today. So I just built, um, I've just built about two or three websites all using the new Claude Sonnet 4.5 and I have some lessons um, that I wanna chat with you about that I think are pretty important and they're gonna help you with your SEO or your advertising or your, your website stuff, whatever you happen to be doing on here. The first thing I wanna talk about is a subagent stuff, okay? Now what subagent, what they did recently was they came in and they updated these subagents and the 4.5 Sonnet is even better than pretty much, it's supposed to be better with agents than anything else that they've done, come up with before. Now it's like, oh, that's pretty aggressive. Like, yes, it is very aggressive. And what I wanted to do was, because if you come in here in the first thing, Sonnet is the best coding model in the world. It's strongest model for building complex agents. Okay. I want to talk about why this is so crazy. And I want to give you a rundown of kind of where I've landed so far. And then I'm going to tell you about how I got there. So usually what you do and what you'll see here is I have different agents for different things. There's a UI UX designer agent, just to like go through the websites that I'm working on and make sure they're working well. There's an SEO analyzer which you know does a technical SEO audit to make sure everything is working at its maximum. And even a mobile UX engineer, which is a little different than you know the UI UX designer, but it's just meant to kind of hone things in. The big thing here that I wanna talk about is the master orchestrator. Now I'm not the first one to talk about this, but I want, do wanna share with you how I'm starting to view this and how I think you can take advantage of this as it stands right now. So let's say each of these are an agent, right? So this is this is your agent. Now, normally what people are doing right now, okay, is you come in and you have your agent and you're like, okay, this agent is going to be really good for, I don't know, copywriting, let's say, right? Like now what I'm gonna show you here is that with Claude 4.5 Sonnet's upgraded agent capabilities, having this one agent that just does copywriting is kind of a thing of the past. Um, some of the other guys who you've probably been watching have been talking about this. What it's leaning towards now is what you would have seen there is what I call a master orchestrator agent. So, so now what I have is I'll have, and I will pull this up directly for you. It's now you have agents that manage agents. That's the big win. So now instead of this agent one that does copywriting, I have a copywriting copywriting orchestrator. And I call it an orchestrator because it's like managing an entire, you know, band, I guess, right? Multiple things. And so now instead of having one agent that does copywriting, what I'm doing is one agent one, like heading placement, right? It's just for headings or heading research maybe, right? And then so agent one is just for headings. We're gonna do another agent, and that's this is just for um I actually have this landing page outlines. And then I'll have another one that is for um conversion rate optimization. Now instead of having these three, now what we're doing is we are going, we're making another agent here. Now, what I've done is I've made a copywriting orchestrator agent, right? Now this agent, so when I type something in to whatever I happen to be doing, when I'm in the terminal and I'm typing out a command, instead of an individual agent taking control and just, okay, I'm just gonna do all the copywriting, this orchestrator agent, it's with an E again, <laughs> This orchestrator agent instead comes in and it figures out, okay, it creates a plan. And then from that plan, it goes, okay, with that plan, we're going to have you do this. We're going to have you do this. And we're going to have you do this. And then all of these feed back into the orchestrator agent to tell it how it's doing. So this is, you're thinking really cool, right? Yes, and then there's another layer on top of this that I've added as well now. 
um, because sometimes you're not just copywriting, right? Sometimes you're copywriting and designing. So, so now what I've done is I've taken this and I've made a master orchestrator. Now this master orchestrator will have a copywriting. It will have a design orchestrator. Yeah, and then I'll have one for design and then I'll have one for engineering, okay? And then on top of that, I also have system managers. And I know what you're thinking, this is like getting really intense. Um, and it kind of is, but I think this is really important. Now, as you know, whenever you have, I'm sorry, this is getting so complicated, guys, but I really just wanted to chat about this in a way that was constructive. So I can kind of try to get everyone on the same page because this is super valuable. People are loving it. And if you can manage this, you can save a ton of time and make what you're doing I mean, work a lot better and go a lot faster. And it also saves tokens, which is also really cool. But anyways, now this master orchestrator, what this thing does is it creates its own plan. And then this will delegate then to each of these and vice versa. These will report back to the master orchestrator. And as you can see how complicated this gets, if each of these have three, you're looking at about 16 different agents that are getting managed by this one master orchestrator and kind of getting everything organized and put together in a way that makes sense. So this is what I want to talk about. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to show you what I have. And I'm also going to make this like free. If anyone, if you want to comment on, on the channel, I will send this entire thing for free. Um, I've just created it just through like kind of using some logic through what I think I need. Um, and you can customize this to whatever you want to. Now, now, what this is, is it's agent hierarchy architecture. Okay. I'm going to tell you how I got here. And then I'm going to tell you, um, some of the, some of the mistakes I made in this, and then how you can optimize this for yourself. Now. The master orchestrator is the top level one that we talked about before. It analyzes all my requests. It routes them to team managers, right? And it unifies progress tracking. So every time something gets completed, if this takes it all into consideration, figures out what the next plan is. The engineer manager, okay? So code reviewer, debugging, TypeScript expert, because I was running into a lot of TypeScript errors. AI engineer, which is good for whenever you're coding something that uses AI. Um, architect review and MCP creator. This would actually probably be down in the system manager, but have it something in there just to make sure that like whatever MCP I happen to be using, it's up to date and it's working because I was using the Serena MCP and I was using the uh, playwright MCP and they were both running into mistakes and errors. So what I did was I created an agent that specializes just in making sure that those are working to their like best capabilities because I can't afford to have these things like not be working or like it'll try to do something that doesn't work. For SEO, I have an analyzer, a fixer, and a SERP competitor anal analysis. So, and these use the SEP man, like these can use MCPs within their commands as well. They just, it just makes more sense instead of calling an MCP to do a specific task. This knows what it's looking for. So it'll do the MCP work by itself and then send it through. Um, content, because I do a lot of SEO and advertising, content is really big for me. Um, and also for these videos, I'll like I'll do transcripts, uh, videos, landing page optimization, outline researcher, copywriting orchestrator, so this is that kind of, this is the orchestrator within this group. It didn't really label it up there, but this is what I've landed on. And then this is the meta agent. This creates agents, this updates agents. And then this is an agent expert to make sure that I think that they're all doing what they're supposed to be doing. And as you can see, the communication flow is the user request. So I type something, it gets analyzed through the master orchestrator. I, I, if I'm, but I have to type a command that says use an agent. If I don't ask it to use an agent, it will think of a way, it'll either not use one or it will find one that it thinks fits automatically. But oftentimes it won't. It sends that to a manager and then it sends that to a specialist agent. 
And then the feedback is a specialist will send it to the manager with a detailed status. The manager will send it to the orchestrator with a summary of everything the team did and an orchestrator will send it to me in one report. Now, this is where I made my first mistake and this is what I would urge you to do differently that I didn't do that I wish I did. Make this a little bigger, guys. Sorry about that. This is what I didn't do that I wish I did. And I'll talk, tell you this right now. So the routing, so if the user says debug this error, it would go right to the engineering manager, right? And that's what you would think would work. But what I found, I did this a couple of times and it didn't actually work like that. Um, what happened was these individual agents have a, have words where they would prioritize their own tasks. And so they would work, um, if they saw something, they would do something proactively. And because that, yeah, here it is right here, the problem. So I said in, in this prompt, it went straight to the UX, UI UX designer instead of using a manager. Why review this? And I said, you know, in the prompt, I said, continue on this work. It looks like the main menu is an older version. Uh, that we worked through already use an agent to assist with this project and get all the menu style put together i put it there and i put that in and it went straight to the ux ui ux designer now it realized what the problem was the problem was that um there were more specific matches and domain specific keywords right so those agents were looking for specific keywords like ah ah Damn it, there's a hair in there somewhere. <laughs> um, domain specific keywords. So styling menus over meta commands use an agent. So if something came in, when you said put together, get the styling menus put together, the UI UX designer went matched with those keywords and it bypassed the orchestrator. So the fix was to update the specialized agents to defer to the master orchestrator when use an agent is specific explicitly stated so if i say to use an agent it it goes straight to the orchestrator first if i just say hey check this out it's like an seo issue it'll then go straight to whatever it thinks will work or whichever keywords in that agent would launch that thing so yeah um that's it really i i this is already getting to be a pretty long video i just want to talk about what i found and kind of share it with you guys if you're curious if you want this layout um drop a comment i will reply with the layout and i think everything you need to do this yourself it's not super hard the meta agent was the one thing that really helped me get all of this together um i got that from indie dev dan i believe uh, who's is an awesome thing. He was talking about this a couple months ago and it took me this long to kind of realize exactly how solid that was of advice because the guy is like super intelligent and he's really smart. And, uh, but for what I do, like I'm not a hardcore engineer like him. I'm just like trying to get work done. I'm doing SEO, I'm doing advertising, I'm doing websites. If you stayed to the end, thank you so much. You are an absolute legend. If you need help with your SEO, your websites, your seo optimization your advertising anything like that feel free to shoot me a message i'm happy to chat anyways have, have fun out there guys happy coding and i'll see you later bye bye